Hello everyone, welcome to Botany Optional Channel for the UPSC examination. In today's video, we are going to see the ecological and the economic importance of the forest. Now this has been given in your UPSC syllabus of Botany Optional, paper number 2 and the chapter number 5th. Alright, now first of all, we are going to see the ecological importance of the forest. Alright. The first ecological importance of the forest is forest makes the soil. As you know, here in the picture you can see that this is the barren land. Now, on this barren land, if there is a succession, that is the arrival of small living organisms like lichens and then small plants and then large trees. Now, what happens after the large trees comes to the picture that these trees are not only stand firm on the ground but also their roots grow beyond the soil all right they undergo the soil in a such a way that they start cracking the hard rocks and make them into a smaller pieces now these are smaller pieces of the rocks are further divided to form the soil that is formation of soil is called the pedogenesis all right so on the barren land, when there is a succession in which first comes the lichen, then small plants and later the large plants, these large plants grow luxuriantly and their roots grow underground to the very depth of the ground and they cut off the hard rocks into the smaller pieces which they then converted into the soft soil. So the forest do the very important ecological function of making the soil. All right. The second ecological application of forest is the forest protects the soil. Not only forest creates the soil, but also it protects the soil. Now, how? Let us see. Here are the two pictures. See carefully. In the picture number one, you see there is no plants. That means there are no forest in this area. All right. In the second picture, you will see there is the forest and the whole area, including the flower, is covered by the plants all right now if the rain falls on the empty ground the soil erosion starts very quickly and it happens very rapidly because there are no obstacles for the flowing of water and with this water all the soil goes away from the land to the another place this is how soil erosion occurs but if such a rain tend to occur in the forest then rain directly does not come into the contact with forest first of all it comes in contact with the grass present on the forest floor later drop by drop this water goes into the soil but this drop by drop speed of the water does not move the soil and this soil remains as it is to that place only that means soil cannot run with the water in the first picture you can see here this portion of the soil it's carried away by the large amount of water but this cannot happen in the second picture this is because there is a presence of forest and and the forest plants act as a obstacle for the water and that is why there is no runoff of the water and so does there is no runoff of the soil so not only forest creates the soil but also it protects the right the next ecological function of forest is that it prevents the fires to spread all right now here are two pictures in picture number one here you can see that here is the burning fire in the second picture as well you see the burning fire is here but whenever there is a forest fire on the empty land or say dry land or dry land tends to burn very quickly now you can see here how the fire is spreading very rapidly but on the other hand if you see the fire in the forest it is controlled by the nearby plants that is these plants contain the large amount of water in them so these water in the green plants cannot burn easily and that is why these forest where have the very limited area and cannot spread to the other areas right so these forest act as a fire stopper now the next ecological function of forest is the forest changes the lifeless rock into the living ecosystem now 
here in the first picture you can see here it is a very lifeless land in which there are only rocks right as you know the process of succession starts with the like and then the smaller plants and then the larger plants and after the certain period this reach to the climax which results in the formation of forest so the very dry land which is made up of the rocks only which converted into the forest and now this forest can hold the many animals and plants all together all right so the forest also converts the lifeless land into the life land the next ecological function forest is and taste now see how forest itself is a complete ecosystem in this ecosystem there are all the prey as well as the predators right so many diseases and pests also present in the forest but these are uh, pests and diseases also have their enemies in a place right so that is why these enemies constantly attacking on the diseases and pests and and hence they are controlling the pest to be spread in the nearby areas the next ecological function of forest is is to maintain the balance in an ecosystem as you know ecosystem ecosystem compulsorily requires the stability right now this stability is provided by the forest as you all know in the forest there are large number of plants which absorbs the co2 for the photosynthesis purpose and from the co2 these plants prepares the glucose right now this glucose is stored in these plants and in return these plants given out the oxygen which is very vital for the other living organism so these plants in the forest ecosystem maintains the accurate concentration of co2 in the atmosphere and in the same way maintains the accurate concentration of o2 in the atmosphere that is these forest tend to balance the co2 and o2 ratio in the atmosphere it is only a one example that is i am giving here which maintains the stability of an e whole ecosystem the next ecological importance of forest is forest provides the shelter to many animals as you know that many animals lives in the forest and this forest is the natural home for them that is these forest are habitat for various animals here in the picture you can see here many animals are seen living peacefully in the forest right so these are forest act as a shelter for the various heterotrophic animals the next ecological importance of forest is it makes the clouds and rains now as you may have noticed forest are the very dense areas that is these are largely covered by the plants now these are plants tends to absorb the water from the soil right and this absorbed water from the soil is used in a various processes by the plants including the photosynthesis one of them is a transpiration now in the transpiration what happen plant lose their water in the form of vapor all right now these are vapors go in the air and goes to the certain height where it condenses and come back as a rain all right so in the forest there are a very large amount of plants are present these plants absorb the water in a very large amount that is in a tons of water is absorbed by these plants on daily basis and transpire this water into the atmosphere all right so from this atmosphere this water again coming back to the soil so so this is how forest also helps in making clouds and rains all right the next ecological importance of forest is forest holds the water now in merry forest you have seen that rivers are running in the forest right so the particular structure of this forest maintain this water inside the forest the forest act as a boundary for the water and hold them tight to the very singular path and this is how forest also helpful in holding the water as well as giving direction to the water all right now in the second part we are going to see the economic importance of the forest now let us see the first economic importance of the forest that it provides the wood as you know woods are the are of paramount importance to the mankind right now the forest provides the good quality of 
wood which is used by the mankind for the purpose of construction for the purpose of burning and many more right this wood is directly used by the man for the many ways so the forest provides the wood which is very beneficial for the mankind the second economic importance we have here is a forest has many plants which may be of great economic value now there are many plants found in the forest which has a great economic value now see the first plant is the chlorogalum now this plant is called the soap plant from this plant various soaps are can be made and this plant is also used for the medicinal purpose second we have here is a mushroom which is not only edible but also a medicinal plant then we have here is a pulmonaria which is found in the forest which is used for the lung diseases now these are medicinal plants and edible plants plus other plants which are of great economic importance are all present in the forest and forest is the source for all these plants all right the next economic importance of the forest is forest also provides the food now here in the picture you can see there are berries plus fruits are all provided by the forest plus honey is also provided by the forest actually the tribal peoples have total their dependency on the forest for their living not only the food but also water but and also the shelter they get from the forest that is why these are forest are of great importance to the tribal people the next economic function performed by the forest is that the paper industry is totally dependent on the forest now the paper we use in a day to day life is all coming from the woods of the forest now these woods of the forest act as a raw material for creating the papers all right the next economic importance of the forest is their minor produce like from the forest we get bamboo which is used for the construction purposes and the other purposes as well then we have wild fruits from the forest and at the same time things like gum from the forest so all these minor produce are also coming from the forest so this is also one of the economic importance of the forest all right friends if you have studying for the upsc examination and you have taken the botany as an your optional subject please mention your thoughts in the comment box about your views about the channel and which topic to cover first and which topic to cover later you can suggest on this platform so that we can move accordingly all right if you have any doubt please comment please share this video with your friends who are studying the botany and please subscribe to the botany optional channel for the upsc examination and at the same time you have to press that bell icon so that you will get the notification all right so thank you very much for watching this video see you in the next video